This video is about what some of the causes of cerebral palsy are. It's brought to you by Burke and Eisner, medical lawyers. Cerebral palsy is a condition that results from brain injury. That brain injury is often caused from lack of oxygen or other some other type of injury to the brain. It can be trauma, it can be infection, and many times you see this injury happen either in utero or just during the birthing process or soon after birth. There are some several causes of cerebral palsy. One of them is maternal infections. When the mother who is carrying a child has an infection, if that infection gets out of hand, then it can affect the child. And some of the common infections that can, shall we say, get out of hand a little bit, or not, if they're not treated, can get to the point where they cause a problem are those you see listed on the, on the screen here. Um, and this is really an issue of whether the infection is found and treated appropriately uh, as to whether you can prevent uh, cerebral palsy or not. This is related to the previous slide where you can have infections that are transferred to the child. They're not necessarily from, directly from the mother, but they can uh, be related to the mother and they can be transferred either during birth or shortly after birth. Again, some of the ones you see on your screen are sepsis, viral encephalitis, group B strep, bacterial meningitis. Cerebral palsy can also be caused when a child is born preterm. And one of the reasons for that can be because just their child hasn't developed fully yet. And so there's some weakness. Uh, that's how I would describe it, some weakness in the, in the brain development. Um, many risk factors that you see during Pre for, for preterm birth, meaning what can cause it, stress, multiple births, births, twins, smoking or alcohol uh, or drug use, uh, many of these things can actually increase the risk, risk factor for premature birth. Not all cerebral palsy uh, cases are medical malpractice, but medical malpractice can be a cause of cerebral palsy. It can be a failure to find or see fetal distress and then respond to it. One of the ways you respond to that is with a C-section. It can be a failure to uh, use equipment correctly when there is a need for vacuum extraction or forceps, or you can see it with failing to treat jaundice or even treating in infections. So you should consider talking to a medical lawyer or a medical malpractice lawyer if you have a diagnosis of cerebral palsy just to see whether uh, one of the causes was medical malpractice. It, isn't always that way, but it's worth looking into if it's a concern that you have. This video has been brought to you by Burke and Eisner. If you do have questions about medical malpractice or uh, need to speak with a medical lawyer, feel free to call the number you see on your screen or visit our website. We'd be happy to try to answer your questions.